and welcome to this, the very first episode of my Black Flag playthrough. So, let's get straight into the action, shall we? Just call this one YouTube. So the main purpose of this is to show the storyline, but also hopefully my commentary and explaining how things are done and, uh, and uh, possibly displaying any tactics. I hope we make it a bit more informative and a bit more interesting to watch. So uh, now I'm going to shut up and um, let you guys watch the presentation. So. Okay, so here we have the first controls, obviously, this is a computer, and we'll take camera TV. Just don't know that. Okay, so, obviously we've got to go grab the wheel of the ship, and simple hold E to interact, and here we have the ship. So, a quick rundown of the uh, ship's uh, movement would be to um, everything is controlled by the mouse. So uh, what cannons are fired, the rate of fire. Um, so yeah, everything is just controlled attack wise by the mouse, and um, you control the actual ship itself using the arrow keys. And uh, it depends on what you tap and it depends on how fast you go. You can run at your speeds. So let's go with this. Obviously we can use obviously quick fire, just by pressing, just be like to use a heavy shot, or you can hold to fire and aim, which obviously does much more damage. And obviously you've got five arrows which are behind you, are particularly useful in fighting enemies that will try and go behind you or are chasing you. Obviously ships do fire back. So yeah, you've really got to use your speed and your tactics. So here we are just fighting the ends. Of course this is just a small introduction. And now we have a big ship, a frigate class up ahead. And we're just gonna use the same tactics. Obviously it's already damaged, which is helpful. I'm gonna go to the higher sales because we're gonna ability, frigate class, this it will be important. And just keep on charging. And then give him full side to the back, so that's the best way. Tactic. Um, obviously, tactics later on will be much more intricate and much more advanced, but of course, this is early game, so it'll be very simple. So, we'll sink, sink, and I thought it will sink, but obviously, it's just clinging to life. Or maybe if you miss a string, but now it's gone. So, let's see what next objective is. Is it dangerous? Edward? Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most.
All right. No more than two. Promise me. Wonder if he was ever able to keep that promise. We certainly don't know. Okay, so uh, again, movement controls. Simple, easy to remember, never change. Oh yeah, that's the point. Um, shift is actually like a sprint mechanic, so if you ever want to go faster, hold shift. If that is, of course, if you're actually a human at that point. Otherwise, it won't work. <laughs> Tropical paradise. Or oh, not so much. Was well, it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Not even going to question that. Well, no, it actually makes perfect sense for powder was wet because he'd been swimming. We're off to a bad start. Climb a tree or not, if the case may be. Yeah, helpful tip. A helpful tip. If you don't press space, you will not jump over stuff. If you just want to run, just hold shift. As I said earlier, it's just for shrimp mechanic. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? Well, there's some sea as well, so, you know, it'd be pretty hard to walk. You'd have to swim. And if you manage to swim a hundred leagues, dang, you're good. That's all I'm going to say of the matter. Okay, so, synchronization points. Reveal the map. It's, uh bit of climbing and uh, pretty much every single one you're gonna see is like this. Well, it would be a wooden construct like this, um, an old shattered mast, or a bell tower. It's pretty much only in the game, but they are interesting and they are nice to see. It's nice to get up on high. And of course, the little spinny cinematic has not changed in the entire life this game series. Well, I think this is a good place to wrap it up. We'll leave here and we'll of course be back with the next episode. See you till then.